This one goes out to the 160th soul. You guys rock. This is Ken Ross, AFN React. Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at Arma Tactics. This is a little spin-off game from the main Arma series by Bohemia Interactive. This is also made by Bohemia. It's a uh, squad-based, turn-based tactical game in the sort of vein of something like uh, Front Mission or Final Fantasy Tactics or the old Jagged Alliance games. And uh, I really like those kind of games where you have customizable individual troops instead of a whole bunch of units like an RTS. So I thought I'd take a look at this. Let's see. Alright, so we can actually buy more guns, but uh, we have no credits right now. Insufficient credits, 150. So I guess let's just go into new mission. Oh wait, can we modify our team before we actually have one? Got Marcus Salazar, Stanley Dogs. Damn sand hits everywhere. Damn it, oh. I hear we're going to relocate soon. So we got a four-man team. He's good at assault rifles. He's good at medical. He's kind of good at a couple things, but mostly explosives. And he's just good at assault rifles and close combat. All right. So we got sort of a little bit of varied units already, and a uh, new mission. Alright, so I guess we gotta do the tutorial. Hopefully this won't take too long. Is this really necessary? I'm not some FNG, I've seen my share of combat. Five months spent convalescing, that's a lot of time, Ian. Whatever you did or didn't do before this moment, we don't care. You're with us now, boy. Let's see what you've got. Oh my god, you have such an amazing way with words, Derek. Don't mind Dobbs, boy. He has an acute case of, I think I'm so funny-itis. Alright, so just click. Two action points. Alright, so either we can do like two actions a turn, or move double, or... So it's like XCOM, the uh, the new XCOM. Hit end turn, and you can't do anything. So, whoop. Do we just have infinite AP because we're not actually in combat. So how do I take cover? Do I... No? Yes? Okay. Alright, so you just double click near a wall. How to reload. Clicking on the character's model. So I just click on him and hit that. Pressing the appropriate buttons. Thanks, game. Don't tell me what those buttons are. What's my target? I feel like I missed this part. Okay, so I can move the camera. There's our guy. So let's move Marco. Nope, not there. Uh, there we go. Let's move you here. Switch back to Ian. And... Also rotate the camera. There we go. Move you up here. So the turn does auto end. You don't have to. What's this? I can either. I guess that's an aimed shot that uses two AP, or just a single shot that doesn't. No, don't move. That's not what I meant to do. Damn it, Marco. Oh well, Marco's gonna get fucking shot. I did not realize there was another guy who missed from point blank. 
It's nice to see my guys aren't the only ones that can't aim from a distance. All right, Marco, you better save your own life here. <laughs> and then he just mysteriously dies. Okay. So we can pick our guys back up. I wonder if this has permadeath. It probably does. What? No. Not what I meant to do. Head over to Marco. I wish it told you how many AP you would use with your move instead of just using it up when you go too far. Um, Medkit. And after jamming my arms through his spinal cord, so he feels better. better now. Thanks. All right, we got another target somewhere. Target? See, did I miss the part where it told me where he is? Or did it just say, "Hey, there's a guy somewhere. Go stab him." Okay, too far. I guess I can click once to see if, how much it would use, and then twice to confirm. You must be upstairs, right? I only assume that because I don't seem to have anywhere else I can go. Turn. I don't see him. I feel like I'm missing something here. Was it telling me to go this way? If so, I've just totally fucked up. Considering this ladder doesn't lead anywhere. Alright, let's uh, shuffle our way back there then. Alright, so now I should be able to sneak up on this guy. And knife him. Or just poke him in the shoulder. We can find treasure in the middle of a level and sell it? I'm guessing this was just a simulated exercise, we didn't just randomly murder some guy that was in our firing range. Do I not have the search option? Okay, there we go. Hit zero times, incas incapacitated once. All right, so now we can actually do a mission. Operation Tempest. No proper equipment. No intel to speak of. Heavily outnumbered. Expected civilian casualties if we fail. Over 10,000. I really hope Lady Luck owes us a favor or two. That guy really almost sounds like Bear Grylls.
truly impressive entry, my friends. Too bad you don't have silence or so. Sultani to everyone. If you hear one more shot fired, execute the hostage. There's more of this. Tell your friends to come out and surrender. You can't fire your weapons, so why don't you drop them? Now! Mission's already going to shit, and I didn't even take control yet. The mission was supposed to be trivial. Ideal for you to get to know your new team, they said. Oh, really? Since when does trivial spell walk into a frickin' ambush? Master's got shot in the leg and kept fighting. We all did. Then the second bullet knocked him unconscious and we had to pull back. At least for the time being. Alright, so we get to equip our squad at the beginning of a mission. And they've all got M4s. Someone is better with LMGs, but I don't remember who. Can I check their stats? Am I just supposed to remember? From the fact that it says tap item again, I'm, I have a feeling that this is an iPad game as well. It sort of feels like a mobile type game. I'm trying to remember, it wasn't Salazar. It's probably not Dodd since he's got the med kit, so that means it's... It might be Ellis, but it also might be Masters that's good with LMGs. Whatever, I'm just going to leave them with their default. The M4 is always a safe bet. Here's the plan. We locate Masters, eliminate any threats, then we all have a good cold one back at the base. The local militia alone should be fairly inexperienced, but Lady Luck is a bitch, so watch your step. Uh, is there a plan if he's unable to walk? You bet there's a plan, Dodds. And this one says you're gonna have to carry him. Now let's move! It's that sort of witty banter that really makes us associate with our squad here. Alright, so we got a treasure chest right away. Marco, go get that. Enemy spotted. Oh, there's an enemy on the moon. Seriously, how did I see him through that building? Don't have the AP to search. Let's get our guys into some positions. Okay, I can't go that way, so I want to sort of... Ideally, I want to get someone up on that ladder, too. I just... that's it. I just straight up get money. Alright, so that used one AP for Marco. So let's just, uh, move him over here. Alright, Ian, you're up. That is just a ladder to a light post, so that doesn't do anything. Okay, the dude's back there, so let's just kind of sneak across. Is there any reason to go over here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Probably run up and stab that guy. Go back to 
Stan. Hopefully he's good with a knife, because otherwise he's going to miss and fuck this whole thing up. Hey, buddy. Oh. Surprise. Is it trying to put me on the roof? Is that why it's red like that? That's not what I meant to do. Hmm. Where do I want to go from here? There's a fence between that side and this side, so... No, I can't even go through that window or door or whatever that is. So this is just a complete dead end? Alright then. Okay, we're gonna squeeze through here. So we'll send him up there to cover. And then Marco, get your ass over here. I feel like if they were going to adopt a sort of XCOM 2AP system, they'd also should have used the XCOM, you know, sort of infinitely move around until you actually encounter an enemy. Enemy spotted. Enemy spotted. I'm still curious what these are. I don't know if those are like visibility markers or what. So as soon as they come around a corner, there's going to be a guy. Oh. I was hoping he'd be able to get a shot, but I think that door is in a way. Spotted. There's a lot of guys in this area. Alright, so he can't shoot down. He can't make him stand up. A guy there, and a guy there. The guy didn't even notice. It's neat that they use the exact same uh, weapon sounds as they do in Arma. I think. The M4 definitely sounds exactly the same. Though that, of course, might just be because that's what an M4 sounds like. Did Marco already move? Okay. Never mind, I was selecting the wrong guy. Take cover behind this door. Which does not let him shoot the guy standing outside the door. Ian, what do I want to do with you? Kind of exposed all these people around. Let's just put them behind this crate and hope there's no one right Enemy here. spotted. Oh, so this guy can shoot him, but he can't shoot him. I thought they said the high ground gave you an advantage. You really can't move very far without using up your AP. Enemy spotted. Shit. 
Well, let's hope this guy doesn't turn around. Despite the fact that we've got the high ground here, we don't seem to get any advantage out of it, since he can't fucking see anyone. Did that guy just shoot at me without turning around? Alright, I really need to kill this one guy here, because he's just being a pain in the ass. not going to tell me how much AP that's going to use. Oh shit, he missed. Somehow that guy missed from a foot away. I think Ian's pretty fucked here. Has a chance to give him the business and run away. Alright, so we got one guy back here, or two guys back here, one of them ran... No, wait. One guy back there, and then a bunch of guys over where Ian is. So it's, you can see it's not a very complex game. I can assume you'd mix it up a bit later when you get different weapon types and can actually kind of specialize your guys. Because right now it's just, hey, these, this guy's a little bit better at this one thing. I'm also curious what happens if they die, if you just get a mission fail or you actually, you know, get to get new team members. Enemy spotted. Well, shit. Which there was like a cancel move. Oh, I think I actually did cancel it. But he still used both AP. <laughs> Take that. Did that guy just run into the house, then back out of the house as his entire move? Wish the camera didn't lock in place. I was gonna say, what is this globe thing up here? Marco! Oh, they can interrupt? How do I interrupt? And that guy just like shot me with a shotgun from really far away. I'm pretty sure this is how you would uh, do a reaction shot, but I'm not sure if that's what it does, or if it just gives you a defense bonus. Please tell me that Ian has a grenade, because there is a bunch of guys backing up down there. Drag and release. Did you get both of them? No, that guy's still up. He only took 94, so he's almost dead.
Oh, that's a Dragonov, isn't it? Or just an AK with a scope. Really need to get up to Marco there before he dies horribly. So you can target guys really far away, but you won't actually hit them. Why does my grid square just stop here, but I can actually go over here? It's trying to deny me the truth. This guy's almost dead, but I actually need to hit him one more time to... ...clear him out. There we go. Takes care of the main threat here. And just like XCOM, Enemy Unknown, they've got the random zoom cameras. The action cam. Alright, he's about to bleed out, so I gotta hurry. Next turn I should be able to pick him up with Stan. Another sniper. Wait, oh shit, I have to reload. Did that not work? Oh, that's... I was looking at the wrong guy completely. Derp. He should be fine, he's completely in cover. This guy must not be a very good sniper, he's just running straight at him like, Oh, I've got this! Alright, Stan. You're gonna go right here. You're gonna patch up our buddy. Be nice if I could switch characters before the animation is done. I feel so much better now, thanks. Unfortunately, Marco does not get any AP for getting up, so I'm gonna have to hope that Ian here can kill this guy. I think he's a grenade, but I don't have one anymore. Please run away. Or miss. You fool. So obviously I had kind of screwed this up by rushing it for the purposes of this video. Let's try not to be too slow and tactical. But you can see it's not a super complex tactics game. It's sort of a simple little thing, which completely makes sense now that I know it's a, you know, mobile game. Or at least an iPad game. So if you just want a simple little tactics thing to play around with, then this is uh, pretty fitting. Certainly not up to the sort of realism and whatnot standards of Arma, but again, it's a spin off, not a main Arma game. That's what you've got Arma 3 for. Alright, well, now that we got our buddy Marco up, I think this will be a good place to call it for Arma Tactics, because uh, I don't know how long this mission is going to take. So, this is Armor Tactics. It's 9 bucks on Steam, presumably less than that if it is, in fact, on iPad. As I must now assume it is, considering all the tap uh, commands. And uh, it doesn't seem terrible or anything. You know, it's cheap, it's a little tactics game with uh, not too much complexity. 
and it, it seems alright. Anyhow, I've been Shadefire, this is Armor Tactics, and uh, I'll see you all around some other time. Till then, have yourselves a good day.